All right, so now I'm going to show you how to scan using the Claria scanner. We just select our app, we select which scanner we're using, and then we pick our application. This is where you put the patient's information in, and on this page you can put the information regarding the pet specifically, whether it's medication or diagno previous diagnoses. Okay, now I'm just going to show you some scanning. Orientation of the transducer or of the scanner is the, the light. And then that usually and probably should try and scan so that the this points to the head or to the patient's right. There's several different movements to use when you're scanning. So you can fan is this way. So we're in the um, in the view that we're in, we can fan the view. So we're actually angling through the organ. We can actually also slide, which is actually moving the transducer from location to location. Rotation is where we actually turn the, ro turn the scanner. The Clarius itself is very easy to use. The applications are pretty well set up. We can just apply our finger to the screen and we change the depth to what we want it at. If we find that we turned the wrong way, let's say I, if I do a transverse and I realize partway through that I should be in the other direction, rather than lose my picture, I can actually turn the view around very easily. We also have an auto gain feature, which adjusts the gain from top to bottom, left to right, making it very easy to use as well. So I'm going to go longitudinal or sagittal. My light is facing the dog's head. And right here we're looking at a section of bowel, which is going to be a good um, area to use the scanner in. So I can rock or fan through the image. So I'm bringing, going out of it just like it was its own organ. You want to always go in and out of the whole area that you're looking at. And then I'm actually going to turn this around now. Again, very easy to do. And I'm going to rotate the transducer into transverse. And then I'm looking at this section of bowel right here. Now it's in transverse. So I go all the way through it. And this is how you would interrogate the bowel. You want to make sure that you're going through the whole thing, following it. I'm actually following all the way caudally on the animal. And I'm looking for I'm looking for caliber size of the wall to make sure it stays relatively the same thickness. And then we come back, and I can also slide, directly moving the whole transducer, which will help me the bowel right here. It goes out of view, we come back, like so. Taking an image is very easy as well. We just ask the system to freeze, and here, with a little camera, we take our picture. We can unfreeze. I can adjust individual depth gain or time gain compensation by dragging in different areas of the image, which becomes really necessary, especially in, um, in different pathology states where you get a shadow or you, have, you need to enhance a little bit more in the near or far field. We also have an auto gain where we just ask for it to come up and it adjusts the gain from top to bottom, side to side, it's all even.